morning. Oh. So, uh, my name is Sebastian Ely. I'm a firefighter paramedic here at Eugene Springfield. Uh, I'm just getting here in the morning for my shift, and uh, come follow along, and you'll see what it's like for a day in the life. So a typical morning for us uh, looks like after we've shown up and we'll go to our locker rooms and grab our gear um, and we'll find the rig that we're assigned to. So I'm assigned to engine two today and then I'll find my relief or the person that I'm relieving, excuse me, and I'll get a quick handoff from them. Um, and that just kind of entails like what they did the previous day, like certain calls they went on that might have used like fire equipment or medical equipment, what was restocked, what was missing, what was broken, anything that's pertinent for me to know. Um, and then they're good to go home. I start putting my gear on the rig and checking the, the rig out. So checking all the firefighting gear, all the medical gear, all that stuff. Um, and just get ready to go on calls for the day. So my title is firefighter. And so when I'm working the engine in a fire capacity, I'm sure you can guess it, it's firefighting. Um, so I'm the one who like pulls the lines off of the engines or does like uh, initial fire attack on whatever fire we have. It could be a tent, could be a car, could be a house. On medical calls, um, my role is patient care. So whoever calls 911, when we show up, I hop out, grab the gear, make contact with the patient, uh, and then I do like my primary assessment. There's a lot of other types of calls we go on that, you know, like a smell of gas or gas in a structure, or gas leak, things like that, that are a little bit different. You don't do as much. It's different on a call to call basis, but um, in firefighting, my main job is put the fire out, pull the hose, put the fire out. And then on medical calls, my job is patient care. Control it down there, yeah. and I can also control it from up here. So we're gonna go up, and then we'll extend once we're up. We'll get a good view of of the world. It's a, it's a, it's good weather for it. Well, we just got a call, so back down we go. Okay. <laughs> They don't need us, so uh, they got here first, so they just did what they needed to do, and they're gonna go to the hospital, and we're gonna go back to our station. So, pretty straightforward. We're gonna, we're good. So we're gonna tilt you back. Yeah. Pulse is 140, blood pressure 136 over 102. So that's a little low too. Yeah. That's how you pull out the cannula. And then I've got a top site. You already got it sound beautiful. Ready to go. I didn't get the IV in here yet. But no worries. Got Thank you. Else. Thanks. Cool. All right. Okay. And on a scale of 0 to 10, yesterday at 2, where were you at? Well, well it's worse today. I don't know. It's yesterday, 7 today. I okay. don't know. Okay. We're going to the back. Jane's going to get you onto the clock. And it's just generalized across your whole belly, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna push down on it. Does that hurt when I push down on it? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. I won't push too hard then. So we'll uh, we'll get you on ours. Take a few steps over there and run you down to the hospital. We'll check some vital signs out real quick. We'll check your heart rate, your blood pressure, your oxygen. Be able to swing your legs off for me. Yeah, you guys are good. 
Okay, we're gonna buckle you in too, okay? Oh, your, I'm not your purse is going in the French joint pouch. Riverbed. Photoshop more weight. <laughs> <laughs> we wear safe shoes in here too. We both have the uh, the Burks on. Uh, they're, good lifting, they're good lifting shoes. They represent our community. It's a very oh, Eugene way to lift. <laughs> Come to your dude, you can wear a Burke. I think I should say sexual assault is going to be a minor dog. I have to say sexual assault. Okay. What is going to need to happen though is that's going to need to stay clean and you're going to need to keep an eye out for any sign of infection on it. Thanks, bro. So any like weird discoloration, if the, if the wound starts to feel hot, something like that. I'm sure okay? we're here. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you um, so much for your service today. You guys, you need anything else for us? So today we were doing a few rescue drills with a combination of the engine um, and the truck. Uh, when we're responding to structure fires, we're gonna have both of those apparatus with us. And so since they're both assigned to two, uh, we did like a little combination drill, which is cool. Um, so for this rep, the engine made fire attack through the inside of the building, pulled the victim out to the balcony. The tower then receives the victim, gets them onto the bucket, which then they can bring down to the floor. That gets transported to a medic. Uh, and then the engine can continue doing fire attack. We do drills like this pretty frequently on the tower because it's a pretty like specialized rig. Um, I'd say it's pretty close to every shift that we're doing something on the tower because we do our probation on the engine. So we spend a lot of time on that, but the tower is a lot more specialized equipment that you don't get as many reps on. So our crew at two, we do a lot of, a lot of work on the tower uh, to get a lot of those reps in. Uh, we got like an hour and a half till dinner. Still gotta cook it. I got a shower, I smell terrible. Um, and run some more calls. And I'll give you a little bit of support under your arms here just to get you up. There you go. Push, push, push. Nice. Okay. And then I'm gonna follow behind you with your oxygen. Maybe put it, I got it down. Four. Pump it up to six, they said. We'll bump it up a little bit. There we go. We're bumped up on oxygen. There we go.
tower is gone on a fire, and we're all that's left, uh, we finish dinner because we want to eat. So they did the most. They did most of the work, which is nice. But we just got to fry up some tortillas and finish broiling the meat, and then we're ready to eat at seven o'clock. Not bad. So dinner is done. We ate a little late, but we got it done. So now we are doing the daily chore because we were, had too much going on throughout the day. So we could not get it during the day. We cleaned the kitchen, obviously. So sweep, mop, take the trash out, all that stuff. So just getting the, the station down for bed, you know, like starting the dishwasher, getting the coffee ready for tomorrow, cleaning all the towels, or doing a load of um, laundry for the towels so it's ready for tomorrow. And then uh, after that, it's just run calls. So that's all we have left. Sorry that happened, but <clears throat> I mean, it sounds like you know Logan, right? Yeah, so Logan will be hanging out with you. I'm gonna put this blanket over your arms because it's a little chilly in here. Yeah, it and uh, we're good to go. We'll be there before you not. Thanks, guys. Anything else you need? No, I'm good. Okay. Nothing. It was all fire. <laughs> so, just getting off shift this morning, um, and so I'm just getting all my gear off the rig. Next shift, I work at a different station, uh, so I've got to load up all my stuff and rove out to that station next shift. Um, but yeah, it was a good shift. We were busy. Um, had some wake ups, but pretty good call. So pretty happy with it. Yeah, so thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. I was happy uh, you're able to follow along and kind of like see what we do in a day-to-day -day and get a better idea of what this job is like and hopefully you learn something.